a, bit, a note on how to do, download Sentinel data to be able to do INSAR. So you go to Google, type in Copernicus download data, click on the first option, open access, scroll down, go to open hub. At this point, I think you will be asked to register or sign in. Um, if it doesn't ask you here, then what you do is you go top right here and <laughs> click on sign up and put in your details. You can see all my details are here and I'm clicking on login. Okay. And now you go to where you want to download the data. Okay, so I've gone and zoomed in of my area of interest here. So I'm looking at this town of Yarkus, Yarkus Fontaine, where they had a tailings dam collapse. And so I want to draw a square around it to look for um, Sentinel-1 data here. So I'm holding shift on my keyboard, and I'm creating a box around Yarkus Fontaine, and I'm double-clicking to finish it. Oh, and I never know how to get rid of that. <laughs> Sorry, maybe you don't double-click. Oh, it is. You double click with the shift. Ah, I might have added polygon. Let's try that again. It never works when you want to do it on the screen. And now who knows what happened there. Okay, well, let's see if that's enough to pick up your office Fontaine. So I'm now going to click on these three arrows. And I want to look at the sensing period. And I'm just going to look here. So I'm actually trying to replicate results um, that another company did, CZG. So they looked at 1st to the 13th of August. So we're going to put that in here. Um, we click on the calendar. And it was last year. Okay. So the 1st of August until it's 13th of August. Okay. okay. And I want Sentinel-1 data. You can see there's 1, 2, and 3. You can Google what each of them is used for. So I click over here so it's highlighted. Platform, I'm leaving it blank so it can look at both. Product type, SLC stands for Single Look Complex. And I'm still learning about all of these. And I was here that I saw it. Um, you'll have to go look up about Single Look Complex. And I left everything else blank. And so now what you can do, I'm just going to, now we go here and we click the search button. And what you can see here, it's loading all the different data for your area that you could look at. And so I'm going to zoom out a little bit because what I noticed when I did this yesterday. Okay, so you can see here it's giving me this block, this block, and this block. And the reason why it's giving me this block up here is because I've got a small part of my triangle. But in all honesty, that triangle was very loosely drawn. So to figure out which one it is, you can see when you put your mouse over it on the left-hand side here, um, you can see which data it's looking at. So that's the bottom left. This is the top left. And I don't want this. I'm going to go and delete it somehow. Let's see if I highlight it. No, not. Oh, God, remember how I deleted it previously. Select it, I felt like it wasn't. Okay, maybe we haven't added to our product path, so that's probably what it is. So now I've seen what data is here, and I've got to go add it to my cart here so I can download it. So instead of, I know this one here, I don't want. So I'm going to select the other ones and miss out this one. And I'm going to see if I click here. Um, okay, so I'm going to click download product. And, oh wow, it's working. So I think I did it last night when it was out of office hours. And it says on the left hand side, it says offline. And this download doesn't happen, like a, a, mess, a metadata file or something downloads, it means nothing. And so what then had happened, I had to wait an hour for the data to become available and then I could download it. So I'm quite surprised that it's downloading so quickly. So you can see it is a huge data file, 3.9 gigabytes, and it's going to take four hours. I did mine each individually just to not overload my system. Um, you might have to adjust your system's battery so that it doesn't shut your, like your, might, your computer might shut down your hard drive after 30 minutes of unuse. So just go and adjust that. If you want to do that, you just go down here and you type in power. Um, and you can see here power and sleep settings. And I go here. So screen is fine. You can switch it off. But here it says battery power. PC goes to sleep after 30 minutes. I would go here and change it to never. 
until your data is downloaded and come back and edit it. Otherwise, your system will shut down. It won't have completely downloaded the data. And so I had a bit of a problem with that the first few times that I did it. So yeah, that is how... Oh, sorry. I think what happens... So this is downloading straight away. When it was offline, I think it then moved it to my cart and I had to click on cart here and it was listed here. I'm not sure if this is... This is probably my old stuff. And it still wasn't accessible. I still had to wait for an hour or two hours. And then it went from being offline here and it was downloadable. So yeah, so just play around with it and see how it works.